everyone, Nico Anna here. Today we're going to tap on the idea of needing to be perfect in order for things to work out or in order to be successful in life around any specific event, goal, or just in general. So many of you may have heard about the idea of perfectionism. I'm sure you know, you, you know if you're the kind of person that experiences perfectionism or the need to be perfect. What you might not know is that perfectionism is actually a form of procrastination or even avoidance. So this is the cool thing about what we're going to tap on today is that we're going to take a look at ways in which you're using perfectionism to actually avoid being successful at something or to avoid actually receiving something good in your life. Because underneath perfectionism is actually a belief that you don't deserve something. Because if you think about what, what perfectionism is, is that if you feel like it's, it's not perfect, that means it's not good enough, right? But you probably also know that with perfectionism comes this uh, caveat that like you'll never get there. Because that's what perfectionism is. It's like it'll never be good enough for a perfectionist. <laughs> so we really kind of, you're like, it, you're in a circle, like a vicious circle, right? So think about something in your life that you are being a perfectionist about. Now, here's a couple examples. Um, maybe you've got a project you're working on. We'll just use the example of maybe you're writing a book and you, you know, you're really excited about it. And you know that you just need to really do the work and take a reasonable amount of time getting it just right, you know, rough draft. And then you really have to move into a stage where you're going to just decide, okay, this is the, the draft I'm ready to publish. And so you may be experiencing some perfectionism. They're like, oh, wait, no, I've got to fix this and it's not good enough. And you're just always, always working on it, right? It's always a work in progress. So think about things in your life. They're like, oh, work in progress, even yourself. If you're in personal development, self-development at all, you know that sometimes you can get stuck in this idea that, well, I'm working on, I'm working on myself, but never giving yourself any credit for actually having achieved something, you know, actually having gotten to a place where you can say, you know, I was successful at releasing this or that out of my life or, or being, um, achieving something that I had a goal for, you know, so Again, think about those types of things and then just get the event in your mind and just go ahead and take a, a sub level uh, for tapping on just kind of how, in general, how stressed you feel around it. So zero to 10, zero is I feel no stress at all. And 10 would be, you know, I'm really stressed out about needing to make this perfect. So something like that. Get your number, just set it aside. Okay. So. Go ahead and take responsibility for your own health and wellness, as always with any self-help technique. And here's our setup statement. Take a deep breath. Even though I need this to be perfect before I can move forward, I really need to keep working on this. It's not good enough yet. It's not my best work. It's not the best work. It's not ready. I have to keep working on it. I accept that that's how I feel about it right now. And I'm willing to love and approve of myself anyway. Even though I really need this to be perfect before I can put it out into the world. This really needs to be better. I need to keep working on it. This is just not good enough yet. It's not my best work. Ugh, I've got to keep working on this. It's not ready yet. But I'm willing to consider that all is well in my world and I'm safe anyway. Even though I really need this to be perfect before it can work. It's not good enough yet. I should keep working on it. 
I really probably need to work on it for a long time. Well, I'm willing to forgive myself for not being perfect right now. Okay, we're gonna tap through the points, everyone, and just follow along with my phrases. And if you want, you can even change them to phrases that work better for you or just use my phrases. Oh, this has to be perfect. This is not perfect yet. It is not good enough. I have to keep working on it. It's just not good enough yet. This is not my best work. This has to be perfect. I'm going under the arms now. I'm going to the top of the head. This is not perfect yet. It's not good enough. I've got to get it right. I've got to make it better. No one's going to like it. It's not going to work. Not unless it's perfect. And even though I've been working on it for a long time and I'm really kind of nervous about it, then I'd like to be finished, but I just don't feel like it's right yet. I've got to get it right. I'd really like to be done with this. Other people say it's fine. Other people in my life say it's fine the way it is, but I know it's not. I've got to keep working until I get it right. Working and working and working until it is just right. Then I'll put it out there in the world. Then it'll be good enough. But it doesn't seem like it's ever good enough. Just when I think maybe it's good enough, I start to think maybe this is good enough. There's a voice inside my head that says, Oh no, this is terrible. It's not perfect yet. You've got to keep working. That voice kind of stresses me out. Sometimes I wish I could just be done with this, but it doesn't feel safe yet. And it, it doesn't feel safe unless it's perfect because it's not good enough unless it's perfect. But I can't seem to get to perfect. <laughs> And every time I think I'm close to perfect, something else pops up that makes it not perfect, that makes more work. Ugh, I'm a little in conflict here. On the one hand, I feel like I should just be done with this and just let it be good enough because I feel like I could keep doing this forever. And if I just keep doing this forever, I'll never get it done. Hmm. I don't know if it's safe to be done. What would it mean to be done with this? What would it mean to say this was good enough to be done with it? Hmm. I don't know if that's safe. Something bad might happen. So I think it's safer to just keep working on it until it's perfect. I'm willing to consider it might be good enough right now. I don't know yet but I'm willing to consider it. Maybe I can let go of the idea that it has to be perfect. Maybe I could consider it could be good enough right now and that it's better to just get the work done and get it out there than to keep trying to make it perfect. I'm still not entirely sure, but I'm willing to consider that this work is good enough to put out in the world and that I am safe no matter what. Take a breath. Good, just tune in again. Think about that number you got ahead of time before we started tapping and then see if your number shifted, if it's gone down, if your stress level's gone down around it, that's a good sign. That means that you're starting to let go of the idea of needing to be perfect around this. If it went up, if it got higher, then you just need to tap a little more, see if you can release that stress around it. 